Cześć, z tej strony Sergiusz Kurlak, Eurowizja Org. Mam dziś wiarygodnie wielką przyjemność rozmawiać z Mahmudem, finalistą Eurowizji 2019. Hi, nice to see hi, you. Hi. It's the first time here in Poland. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How you enjoyed? Uh, um, I have few time to visit the city, but I hope to come back here and see more. Mm -hmm. The very important question from all the viewers mm -hmm. of us: You performed in Polish uh, the Voice of Poland. You performed in morning show uh, in Poland. Why you won't play in concert in Poland now? Because um, uh, um, we are searching the right moment and the right place to do it. But for sure, we will come back here to to give you a big, big concert. I keep your words. Mm. Uh, let's talk about the voice of Poland. Uh, mm. You started in X Factor. Mm. Uh, do you think talent show is still a good way to to debutants, to the, the artists who is in the in the start of their career or not? Mm. I don't know because um, I, I tried. You no, know, you know X Factor when I was 18 years old, but. Um, in uh, reality, uh, for me, um, it wasn't so useful no, for my career because uh, um, after uh, X Factor I started writing songs and studied piano. I think that um, better than the um, reality show um, is it's better studying, no, to study music and, and writing song and learn how uh, to to discover new 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 sides now of uh, our personality and uh, and develop it because um, for me um, um, when you are on TV show is not real life you know it's not uh, the, the 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 right way to grow you no know, as artist mm -hmm. for me. The real start of your career was the San Remo, the Festival di San Remo, then Eurovision, of course, the, the other shows. Um, how do you remember Eurovision? I mean, this few months after. Mm, was it a good oh, way? For me, yeah, yeah, it was a really good experience and I had so much fun there. I knew so cool, pe many cool people. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll do it again and again. Yeah, yeah, it was fun. Mm -hmm. But mm. was, what's the less enjoyable experience about Eurovision? What didn't you enjoy the most? I visit Jerusalem, Tel Aviv was really cool because I've never been there. No, it was my first time that I took the airplane for four hours. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. And most negative thing about Eurovision from this perspective of few months? Uh, that, lack uh, of time, for example. Yeah, lack of time because uh, all the time we, we were doing interviews and you know, so yeah. Mm -hmm. What Eurovision gave you? A uh, lot of popularity in, you, in Europe, you know. Thanks to Eurovision, I, I had the possibility to start a European tour, and that's amazing. Mm -hmm. And you also got the European Music Award, MTV mm -hmm. uh, Award. Um, how do you remember that? Because it was such a big show and big, big, big notability for you. Yeah, I remember as um, Hunger Games, because uh, uh, was a sort of circus, you know, people with uh, um, giant dresses and, and uh, the, the orange carpet, not the carpet that uh, every year changed color. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it was a, um, a fantastic experience. Have you met Roxana Wengel, who won the Polish uh, award? Of, uh, MTV? Yeah, sure, sure, yeah, yeah. W what about her? Um, Have you had the contact? No, 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 not so much. Mm -hmm. But do you follow the, I mean, for example, Junior Eurovision Song Contest and these young stars? No, I saw uh, the winner, but I mm -hmm. didn't see it. What about like kids who's doing music? Because uh, nowadays a lot of y y young people starting doing the TV shows career. Mm, uh, it's a little bit dangerous for me, uh, for kids, because you know, um, when you are a kid, uh, um, your perspective is um, more open, no? For you, everything is so important and uh, you see um, um, all giant, no? And for example, when you are more constructed, more older, um, when you receive a bad news, you are more stronger no? to receive it. But a kid, for a kid, it's dangerous because if a kid uh, um, 
for example if a, a kid uh, um, believe that um, um, he is a star a superstar no when everything finished the day after and uh, maybe um, he will have some problem mental you know it's not so easy no also to, to um, They have to have the special person to talk mm, with her. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. For me, it's better that the, um, a kid studied, grew, uh, grow, and uh, understand what what, what she, because you have also um, to understand what you want to do, you know, in in your life. So um, it's better have time for a kid. Everybody has these up and downs. Mm. Uh, do you remember your like this uh, down days when you thought about yourself? Oh, my career is not going as yeah, I wanted to, yeah, yeah, to, yeah, to, last, to be. Yeah, the last years uh, were like this. In fact, uh, I said if I I start writing songs uh, um, for other artists, also for the reason because uh, I, I said uh, if I if my career doesn't start. Um, At least I, I, I'm writing song for other artists, you know, and I'm doing music in my life as job anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, let me ask you um, how much soldi you had to pay to, to be in the place where you are now. I mean, the, what, has, what did you have to sacrifice to fulfill your dreams? I mean, the, the um, contact with family is less than... Now, yeah, yeah now I have a um, few times to see my family, my friends, but... Um, w when I'm in Milan, um, when I stay in Milan, I sometimes I, I, um, I had the opportunity mm -hmm. to um, to meet them. You know. So. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you not uh, not a big question. What ab what about private life? That love life? Because many artists say it's uh, really hard to to find a love because of the tour, the European work, and um, this artistic life. Uh, have you ever had this kind of feeling that oh my gosh, I will never find a love because of my work, of my career, mm. or I have to choose music or this person? No, because now I'm so focused on my job. So mm. maybe I, I will think about love next years <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. but it's really popular in, in the artistic industry mm -hmm. to, to, to choose between love this personal life or music career yeah. concerts um, I, I don't know yeah in my case yes mm -hmm. sometimes yeah let me uh, ask you about Barrio the newest track with the really good good video clip I really Thank enjoy you. it uh, is that uh, the, the first track from the something bigger mm -hmm. which is coming yeah, yeah, tell yeah. me more um, about it I'm writing new songs I'm producing new music that I will drop next year um, from January mm -hmm. and uh, I'll start uh, a new European tour starting from Milan the 13th of uh, April mm -hmm. April Um, and so, yes, next year will be a year full of new music. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you at, at the end of the interview the short questions, short uh, answers. Mm. Pasta or um, pizza? Pasta. Spaghetti or penne? Mm, it depends. Penne. Mm -hmm. Milano or Roma? Milano. <laughs> Football or fashion? Fashion. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you too.